Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming, and thank you so much for joining me here today in Super Liminal. We will be checking out the episode entitled Labyrinth. That's right, we got a brand new episode here for you. I know it's been a while. Uh, today is Labor Day Monday in the year 2023. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, Eight. Error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. All right, so it looks like we're trying to escape the Somnusculp uh, dream state, but we haven't been able to do it. If you haven't checked out any of the previous episodes, I highly recommend it. Go check them out. This has been a fantastic game, uh, kind of interesting puzzle game. Uh, you solve the levels. A little bit of a story going on. Uh, we're a guy that was watching some late night TV and we, we came here and now we've been stuck in the game for a while. And I don't know why, but I decided to jump on top of these door frames. Anyways, got a, a, a glowing window there too. Uh, again, go back and check those out. You might learn what this error is or why this might complete. be here. You are uh, let me know if you know consistent it. consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. All right, so we're a very fearful person. Nothing back here. All right, let's hop back across. Can we grab that sign? Nope. Okay. So as you guys know, uh, you got to explore the levels pretty well because there's usually some hidden things uh, that you got to find. So I'm just taking my time and looking in every nook, cranny, things like that. Since it's been a while, why don't you leave me a comment on down below what's been going on in your life. Uh, I've had an interesting couple of months. Let's see, I think my last episode was Father's Day. So that's what, June? So it's been June, July, August uh, into September now. Uh, what have I done since then? I um, just got back from a trip from Seattle. I was supposed to climb Mount Rainier with some friends and my brother, uh, but the weather was a little too warm and we had to cancel that climb or the company guide company we're using had to cancel the climb uh, we can't make it up anywhere past that uh what else have i done in that time honestly not that much just been busy at work uh enjoying the little things started doing yoga with another friend uh, a little hot yoga a little uh vinyasa uh and what else have i been doing i think that's been about it hypothesis patient was improperly oriented conclusion I guess we don't Impossible. have a conclude. Up oh, there it is. Reformulating. Anyways, like I said, leave me a comment on down below what you've been doing in life, uh, what you've been enjoying over these last few months in the summer. Hopefully, as winter and the fall starts to roll around, I think I got most of my traveling done. Um, I think I go to D.C. here in two weekends. Uh, hopefully, I start getting back into the video making experience here and can start making some new videos for you guys and i i got a couple i really want to do gonna finish up uh super liminal here i think there's two episodes left after this one um so we'll be wrapping up super liminal soon uh i think the next one i want to play improved hypothesis patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy conclusion emergency exit protocol cannot proceed emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed so the next one I think I want to play is called uh, the Book with Thief. Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Goodbye. And we're back to our lovely alarm clock here. So let's go ahead and turn that off and back into our room. All right, let's head out into the office. Hopefully it's the office and isn't something crazy. Nope, we got our, our good old office here. We'll swing out through this door, get ourselves a, a pop. Nope, and back to this. All right, um, let's see if we can do this. I wonder if it's gonna keep rubber banding us. Yep, there's the alarm. It's getting a little quicker now. Do that again here. Wow, we didn't even make it to the corner and turn back. Boom, all right, and into darkness. Whoa, okay, uh, we got a inversion of gravity here let's uh turn that off then pop down through here and what do we got nice little um like a setup like uh someone was making a movie or something or a tv show this is where you'd have everything 
all the actors and whatnot would come and hang out, have a uh, lunch, maybe dinner if it's late enough. Let's go turn this alarm off. Jumping across everything here, and it warped us back to the bedroom. Very nice. Uh, okay, that's no longer the gate. Let's see, this looks a little red. Nope, we're at the end of the hallway here. Um, gotta be missing something. Um, the alarm, nothing. Um, bu -bu 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 oh, okay, we can grab this painting. Let's make this a touch bigger, see if we can now hop through there. Nope, make that even bigger. And bigger yet again. All right, still not letting me quite fall through it. It's getting rather annoying. All right, let's see, can we go through now? There we go, nice. Ah, there's a fire alarm there, we'll grab that. All right, anything behind the door? Nothing behind the door. And we got Dr. Pierce here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. All right, it seems like we're getting to the labyrinth section now. We got our, oop, wow, okay, we're gonna fall all the way onto that guy. Um, okay, cool. And we'll get ourselves a pop fall out there, and there it goes. And we'll fall down here again. Ugh. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Okay, there's an exit door there. Can we, we can't grab the exit door, but it fell. Can we grab the sign? No, but we can grab that door. And, oh, okay, here we go. Got ourselves a hatch to fall through. Down in here. Very nice. Um, I'm guessing we just pop through here. We do. And there's a crack in the window or the painting there. And we'll hop through that. And another pierce. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. All right, thank you, Dr. Pierce. Let's see, we got one of those paintings we probably have to line up. Um, no, maybe like, no, like right. I gotta back up a little bit more. Almost there. Why? Is, oh, whoa. Okay, now we're going for a nice fall. Okay. Um, got some stairs down here. And I'm guessing we're going right there. Whoa. Um, and the floor is now falling, and we're going with. Uh, we seem to be still alive. Um, okay. Did not, did not expect that. Uh, we got some chairs we can move. Um, there's the door for the elevator. Let's get out of this mess. All right, almost through. Move that over there, nice. And into the elevator we go. Woo, okay, that was fun, that was exciting. Uh, exit temporarily moved, that does me no good, but we can go out the back side of the elevator. Uh, okay, um, hall one, go left. All right, now we're going right. Um, perception is not reality, no trespassing, stop, dead end. Guess we're just gonna go this way then. And a buzz, but we're back to hall one. That other one had said hall two. Okay, so dead end. Back this way, and it buzzed. So, and then it's gonna buzz. Let's see, hold on, there's a pattern here. Okay, so we have to look, I think, the opposite way of the sign. So dead end, this way. Let's see if we get the nice ding. Nice, okay, so look the opposite way of the sign. See the dead end. Go this way, ding. All right, look the opposite way of the sign. Dead end, very nice. Through this door, we should get a ding. All right, look the opposite way of the sign, dead end. And now we're gonna come this way. What a very interesting mechanic, I like it. Opposite way of the sign here as we round into hall five. And then we should get a ding and very nice. Uh, this feels like we're in, what's the third Batman movie? Where Bane and them are fighting underground and there's like that nuclear accelerator thing. Wow, this is loud. All right, um, okay, we're in a swimming pool. We got a large die. And okay, so I'm guessing we move the die to like here. 
I jump up here, up onto the water. And then, okay, the die is now missing. There it is. It moved and it's got a smiley face there. It's probably gonna like explode or something. Okay, it didn't splash into the water. That's nice of it. Um, up to here we go. Okay, nothing up there that I see. All right, let's go through our little castle here. Get ourselves a, let's get ourselves a water soda this time. Make that nice and big, I don't know why. Nothing in the trash can. We'll be a nice person and put it in the trash can there. There we go. All right, and then we've got ourselves a yellow chess piece, Dr. Glenn. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. All right, well, that just turned into some paint. Uh, okay, so we got that. We'll put that there, very nice, through that door. And do we need to grab that? Yep, we'll grab that just in case we need that later. Got ourselves a little workbench here. Put him, um, make that big so we don't lose it. Uh, but apparently we just did lose it. Okay, it's back behind that table if we need it. All right, and then let's dive down through here, it looks like, yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and hit, nope, we didn't hit that, but we hit this pipe. Uh, let's see if we got anything back here. I see like a glow of a light. Nope, okay, we're gonna jump across. Nothing over there that seems to be hidden. All right, so let's jump down here. Got that there. Let's go check this out just for funsies. See if we got something hiding in the back corner. We got a drawing on the ground. Uh, we got some asteroid looking things with some chess pieces and a water cooler on it. Very nice. All right, and then let's go over here. Here it is. Um, okay, and we switched rooms. Um, that elevator door is not working. Let's make that just a touch smaller and even a little smaller again. Hop on up here. All right, I feel like this is another puzzle. I'm guessing we don't just run over there. We're gonna not jump through that white line. My guess is that like white line teleports you. Nice, okay, so we made it through. Um, you know, for funsies, let's see what happens. Oh, I guess you can jump through. Oh, there's a wall. Maybe not, I don't know. What? Um... Okay, I guess there is no. See, but now I can't. You just have to like, can I jump on the bed? Okay, I guess there was no puzzle there. I made a puzzle for myself to solve. All right, block, and that dropped us here. All right, black labyrinth. Let's uh, let's go this way. See if there's anything back this way. No. Okay, forward we go. Run, run, run. Do, do, do. All right, take a right, fall down, and now we're over here. Okay, this is what we were originally trying to solve. Got an alarm clock here on this desk. Uh, what do we got up there? An open vent, open window, let's click that. And now we're in a sea of elevators. Perception is reality, guys. Um, all right, let's just start going this way. Through the, oop, we got an arrow there. Let's turn left. And we're just gonna keep running through this sea of elevators. We'll follow the arrows when we see them. Straight, nice, and through we make it. Cool. Another radio. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Whoa, that whole thing turned into a painting. Nice, okay. Apparently we're approaching a destabilizing dream weight. And let's get in here and ooh, we're outside in the parking lot now listen to the crickets um and the elevator's gone uh i don't see like a car or anything let's head towards the moon and i don't know maybe we'll find that turned into a painting too okay uh let's go this way maybe we'll find something and that just turned into a painting Okay, so we probably have to make a square, make a room here. 
and then we'll be able to do something. So this should turn into a painting any second here, any second, and there it is, nice. Okay, so one more. Just gotta get this wall over here to turn into a painting. So if you've been enjoying this video, don't forget to like it. Like I said, leave a comment on down below what you've been doing this wonderful summer. And if you really wanna support Tooth & Scrubs Gaming, give me a subscribe, come on back. Got some good videos out here. Check out some of my older videos. We're gonna be making some more here soon as, like I said, get out of the summer months, get a little less busy. Got some games, other games I wanna try playing, things like that. So if any of this is your speed, like it, subscribe to it, and we'll be making more here soon. All right, back into our room we've been spawning in. 3 a.m. I suspect this is gonna end the level. I don't know, let's find out. And it did. Very nice. So that was the Labyrinth episode here in super liminal and uh i appreciate you guys coming out and enjoying this video here with me on tooth and scrubs gaming and we'll see you in the next one